Well, there is my tea collection, all pulled down from the shelf where I usually keep it up here. And uh, <laughs> most of this, well, I should say a lot of this, came today in a big new order. I've uh, picked up a bunch of the really big ones. This is uh, a four-ounce bag. It looks huge because the leaves, uh, especially this is white tea, this is candy apple white, white tea leaves um, are large and so it makes the bag look really, really huge. Uh, four ounces actually doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. <laughs> and this will last months. And uh, you know, I put this up here. And candy apple white, by the way, is one of my favorite white teas. And I've had that one for a while. That was the first four ouncer I got. And uh, coming back down here, this one just came today, and as you can see, I've already ripped into it. I posted about this today on the forum. This is chamomile, or mile. Again, it's four ounces, and this stuff is so good. And I love the way um, the tea source identifies what it is, herbal or white or green or poor or oolong or whatever it might be. And then on the back, you get some uh, instructions and description. And uh, I'm really going to enjoy this uh, chamomile. It's so good. And now we're adding it up here. And there we go. This is my tea rack. And next up, this just came today. This is a four ounce pack, much smaller as you can see because these leaves are, uh, actually it's hard to tell in the, this light, but it is a smaller bag, probably about half the size of the other one. But it is still four ounces. And this is Jasmine Silver Needles, which is a white tea. A really good white tea, very silky. And uh, that should hold me for months. I haven't had any of that since December, so I'm thrilled to get that again. And back down here, another four ouncer. And this is my beloved Lapsang Sushan, which is the a black tea, which is the one that I posted about. It tastes like uh, a campfire. <laughs> this is definitely an acquired taste, uh, even among tea drinkers. Let's see here. Aha, this is one I got in a sampler bag, and that's these little ones here. Tea Source throws in a sampler bag every time you place an order, and uh, sometimes you like them and sometimes you don't, <laughs> but it's a great way to find out because there's maybe we look in these there's uh, like this is an old sampler which I haven't finished yet because I don't think I liked this one <laughs> but you can see there's not a whole lot in there um, you can maybe get um, two or three servings depending on uh, uh, the size of the leaves and here's one that came in the order today this is red berries, which doesn't sound like I'm going to like it. I'm not a big fan of red teas, but uh, that's what it looks like. Anyway, uh, this cucumber lime oolong, another four-ouncer. This is an oolong, of course. I got this in one of these sampler things in a previous order and absolutely loved it. And it's been months and months and months since I have had it, so I'm going to... Uh, I've, I've just, that's why I ordered a four ouncer so it will last and last so this is my larder my, my tea larder if I'm using that word correctly which will uh, hold me for a long long time this is one of my favorite uh, black teas just came today this is a four ouncer again this is a very fine tea so the bag doesn't look as big as the other ones but this there's a lot of tea in these bags this is Moon Over Madagascar, which, uh, as you can see, is a, a really nice black tea with vanilla, and it is so good. So, now we've just added that one up there. I'm trying to pick up all the... Okay, here we go. This is a White Chocolate Pour, four-ouncer, and this is a Pour tea. And uh, this is one that I really like. It's very, uh, very rich 
decadent and uh, goes well with milk, although I'm really starting to get away from putting milk in my teas. It's just not tasting good to me anymore. Dark Rose. These are ones that come in little cakes that are shaped into hearts. And again, this is a four ouncer. This is technically not a category of tea. It's just the only company I ever see it talks about them is Tea Source. I don't know if they made it up or not, but they just call them dark teas. Um, but uh, I really like the, the dark rose. It's a, kind of a dusty rose flavor. They're really, really good. Uh, we have this one up here. I think that is all of the four ounces. So I'm, uh, see, I'm going to put up some of the bigger ones. This is uh, Honey, Do You Love Me? And this is from a previous order, and that's a white tea with a flavor of honeydew. And as you can see, that's a two ounce, but look how big the bag is. That's because white teas just have these really huge leaves. And again, here we go with, uh, you can see how fat this one is. And these are all open and used, and uh, I've had them for a couple months now. And this is a Machu Picchu. Again, that's just two ounces. So, uh, all of these, I'm sorry, I keep aiming down when I'm putting these up here. Um, come on, get in focus. There we go. Most of those are new, and these last two are old. And let's see... <clears throat> I can fit. I think I'm going to put these uh, these samplers up here. It's hard to do this with one hand and film at the same time. But anyway. And of course, this is my English breakfast, which I've had for a while. Not a huge fan. It's a nice kind of a standard blend. It has to go back here in the corner with the cat food and my lavender and my one lone can of coffee. Um, where is it? Uh, this is the Grand Cayman. Come on. And there's not much left of this. I've got several servings left in this bag. This um, was a bit of a disappointment. I didn't really like this one that much. I won't be getting it again. But, uh, you know, it's not bad. It just doesn't knock my socks off. Somebody and reviewed it and said it was their Desert Island tea. And, you know, they can keep it on their Desert Island. And there's, of course, my... Uh, Oban scotch that I picked up the other day. Evening in Missoula. There is not much left of this. This is an excellent herbal. Really, really amazing blend. I mean, just look at the contents. The ingredients, I should say. <laughs> Chamomile, rose hips, lemongrass, papaya leaf, peppermint, spearmint, blackberry leaf, raspberry leaf, red clover, alfalfa, star anise, wild cherry bark, lemon peel, winter green, and so on. This I'll, I'll end up getting probably another uh, four ounce when this is empty and I do my next order. But uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be doing an order for a while because this was a big order. And we're coming down to the three new experimental ones. These are ones I've never had before, so I bought them in the smaller two ounce sizes. And this is uh, Scarlet Opera. <laughs> As you can tell from the, uh, the ones I put up here, I think it was uh, Machu Picchu. And I uh, can't think of the other one now. I'm going blank. Honey, do you love me? There we go. And Machu Picchu. And Scarlet Opera. And this is uh, a wonderful blend of silky smooth, full-bodied, and astonishingly pear-like. Roy Bosch, which I do like. I'm, I'm, I mean, it's, it's a red tea, basically, uh, in the way the green teas are green. Um... It's actually not a tea. It comes from a plant in South Africa. And this is blended with uh, rooibosh, lemongrass, chamomile again, uh, orange peel, calendula petals. And uh, I'm hoping it'll uh, like it because I really love pears. And, of course, that's an herbal. And then we have Margaret's Soother, which is another herbal blend. This is another new one in today's order. And that's uh, an antidote for stressful times, which we could definitely use right now. Peppermint, licorice root, and clove. And the peppermint is what I was going for. And, uh, 
just great reviews. So, um, oops. And the last one from today's order, which, oh, by the way, believe it or not, all these bags came in that box. All of the new ones, I should say. There's about six bags here that uh, most of, uh, let's see, all of those are old. And those last two crinkled ones are old. All of those are new. One of those sampler bags is new, and these three are new. So I got ten new bags. This is a new one. <laughs> it's billed as a green tea, but it's called Kenya Purple Tea. Imagine that. And uh, again, this is in a two-ouncer because I'm not sure whether I'll even like it or not, but it sounded really intriguing. It's an unusual tea made by a small-scale Kenyan tea farmers. This unique tea is meant to be steeped like a green tea, which means 175 uh, for three minutes. I need to get a good scale because I need to weigh these things out because <laughs> I'm not I'm just guesstimating with teaspoons and tablespoons. Anyway, uh, it has an effervescent mouthfeel and taste of juniper, which I like because I love gin, and fresh greens. So we shall see. I mean, some green teas taste like you ripped up, you know, handful of grass out of the lawn and ate it. And it's just, ugh. You know, too aspara asparagusy, uh, but that's what green teas are. Uh, some of them I've acquired a taste for. Some of them don't have that grassy feel at all. Um, this is actually supposed to be purple. I mean, there's a, a purple plant that it's a it's a what they call it a cultivar of the real tea Camellia sinensis plant, and it actually has purple uh, leaves, and uh, the concoction comes out looking. Very, 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 very lightly purple. In the picture, it doesn't look purple to me at all, but people tell me that it is. So, But that's me and my finely honed color sense. So a green purple tea. We shall see. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take the chamomile back down because I'm going to take that over for Mom because she's been having trouble sleeping lately. And I'm going to take... I don't know which one... Let's try the soother, and we'll put the Kenya Purple Tea and the Scarlet O'Hara over here with the overflow in the crowded corner there with the scotch and the cat food and the lavender flowers and the coffee. But anyway, these will go over to Mom's house, which I'm getting ready to do right now. and. There's some t-shirts for Judy to make into face masks for me. And by the way, down here, near the cat food, waiting for the cat, there's a mask. And there's a bunch more kind of tucked away in there. That's one I used for grocery shopping, and I plan to reuse it. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I didn't really wear it that long. This is uh, the end of a work day where I didn't get any work. I'm just coming in here to spy on the kitty who is sleeping, all curled up in the chair. I'll probably wake her up by talking like this and walking in here. Yep, there she is, kind of stirring a little bit. Go away, boy, you bother me. But anyway, there's where I've been sitting most of the day. Computer's already gone to sleep, just like baby girl. Alrighty, I just wanted to show off my uh, teas as I'm getting ready to grab a couple and head on over to uh, mom and dad's for the evening. So we're going to try these out. Of course, I've already drunk a couple cups of the chamomile and it is really, really good. So anyway, that's it. Y'all stay healthy, wash your hands, and stay home.